Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. Back inside again. It's a nice day out. That's not why. But it is windy. Uh, but I wanted to go through some things and use the computer so that I can do the fancy little, I don't know which side, and you know, the screen, that kind of stuff. Um, trying to also do more of these not not necessarily less of the outside stuff because i know you all love it. i love it i love doing it i don't care if it's snowing if it's cold if it's raining i love doing the outside stuff i love doing it with the the creek flowing and walking through the woods and all that kind of stuff it's it's i love it but i'm also trying to kind of open the doorway i have been for a while i've just not been as diligent um but open the doorway for actual podcasting uh, which is going to be longer format, more of a radio show type of feel to it. And so that's going to be done, of course, here in, in this little makeshift corner of this room studio. Uh, so I'm, I'm trying to, you know, get you all conditioned for that. If you hear chirping and, and peeping and that kind of stuff in the background, it's because there are little baby ducks in this room. Uh, we've been hatching chickens and ducks out, and right now I have a, a broody box with three or four day old ducks, and then I have another one with one day old. Uh, so if you hear that, that's what you're hearing. And then of course you're probably hearing the wind. It is just blowing stuff all over the place, and it's really loud outside. Uh, but anyways, um, we've been talking about this collapse, not just economic collapse not just the dollar collapsing not just family values and morality collapsing where we've been talking about really a total complete collapse of everything and i think that's what we're seeing happen i think we're seeing all the building blocks for that to happen uh today on uh, the glenn beck show if any of you watch it you probably heard if not um he said on his show and he's been probably the loudest big voice I don't know if that's put correctly. I wouldn't necessarily call him mainstream, but he's definitely has a, a very large audience. Uh, and for someone that has such a big audience next to someone like an Alex Jones, um, and I'm not saying I agree with everything Glenn Beck says, um, but he has been talking about a complete collapse for a while, and he said today that we're not seeing a recession. This isn't a depression. We are watching a full collapse happen. That, that's exactly what's happened, and it's going to be Venezuela style. Um, and I, I think I can agree with that. Uh, over on my uh, Patreon channel today, um, I made a video talking about the de-dollarization and what it's going to look like, potentially, how bad it could be, and how the timelines and how it leads up to it. Just, just a little bit about that. I'm not an expert, but you got my opinion over there. But today, I want to talk about another piece to that puzzle, okay? The, the, the economy is most certainly a huge piece to that puzzle. Another piece to that puzzle that we've been seeing happen is the, 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 the divide amongst Americans. We're seeing that with racial things. We're seeing that with this trans stuff. Uh, today, the White House spokesperson, uh, La Pierre, Jean Pierre, whatever her name is, uh, the most qualified public spokesperson in the country, of course. Uh, in light of what just recently happened in Nashville with the shooting done by a self professed trans person, um, she gets on there today and talks about how we have to protect the trans community and how we have to have sympathy for them and how. Uh, they're they're being they're under attack. Their lives are being threatened. Uh, Joe Biden said today in a, in a some kind of press release or whatever that that the trans community uh, is is uh, molding the very soul of this nation. Something like that. It's I don't even know exactly what that means. So that's another piece to the puzzle. The divide amongst Americans. The the war. The war is another big piece to the puzzle. Um, it keeps us, you know, not sure if we're going to go to war. If we do go to war, there's, of course, catastrophe because of that. Another piece to that puzzle, and there's others. There's others. The, the destruction of the family, destruction of traditional uh, biblical values, all that kind of stuff. It's all a piece to the puzzle of collapse, of this, this reset. I've said this for a long time. 
we are seeing a reset. We need a reset. We really do. I mean, the, the, the way the world has been going for many years, for many decades, we need a reset. The reset is inevitable. It's going to happen, and it's going to happen whether it's through geopolitical and uh, things, or it's going to happen because of economic things, or it could happen because of a pole shifting and, and all of the catastrophe that comes about with that. I firmly believe a reset is going to happen. The only difference is, is this great reset, this Agenda 2030, they are trying to direct that reset. They, they want to, you know, they want to be in that plane. They know it's crashing, but they're trying to, they're trying to guide that plane to a certain point. That's, that's what we're seeing happen. And I think because they know of things like pole shifting and the, the you know, the, earth changes the the cyclical changes of the earth and they've known about this for a long time because of many of the things that they hide from us and then also the things that they probably push along through their manipulations of whatever weather and stuff that they've known about it and that's why we've seen the build-up of this agenda 21 and agenda 2030 plan over the last couple of decades anyways i'm rambling the point to today is is that there's another piece to the puzzle and it's it's just it's chaos it's it's breaking things down it's causing lots of problems all over the country whether it's supply chain stuff infrastructure stuff uh, chemical spills all this and we're we've become very familiar with it now many of you that's been on this on this ride for a while you know that over the last couple of years we've gone through a lot of food plants and food production food warehouse stuff that was randomly destroyed and burned and shut down and planes crashing into it and all this kind of ridiculous stuff right like to the to the point that it was like okay i can i can accept a few things here and there randomly because yes you warehouse fires happen yes you know, factories do catch on fire. Yes, planes do fall out of the sky. But when it's at this repetition in this specific area, that's a little much. Well, we're seeing that again. And a lot of you, of course, you know, became aware of this because of the Ohio train uh, derailment uh, weeks back where, uh, you know, the train derailed, it spilled stuff, they lit it on fire, it went big boom, you know, spread stuff all over the area, contaminated things, and they said that it was okay. And that one got a lot of attention. The thing is, is that kind of stuff has been happening. And in fact, just days after that happened, there were numerous other things being pointed out all over the internet that stuff that was, you know, trains were derailing. Well, I'm here to tell you that that stuff is still going on, and I'm, I'm going to run through, this is not a complete total list, folks. It's like 15 things um, that I've pu pulled out that has happened just in the last uh, 10, 12 days, I think. I think I went back about 12 days to find this stuff. So I want to present this to you to show you that we're still, we're still seeing this stuff happen. And, and is it causing, is any one of these causing a collapse or causing all this chaos no of course not absolutely not because things do happen so not any one of them are, are causing any kind of big disruption it's the totality of all of them it's also um, the the loss of faith in the system that's part of a, a communist plan a communist communist takeover is to create distrust and loss of faith in the system. That the system just isn't standing. The system can't withstand it. The system is breaking down. It's it's falling apart. And, and because that's that's part of this, you know, order out of chaos thing. They they create a, a lot of chaos. They get people believing that everything is falling apart and, and everything is 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 completely out of control. And then they walk in and they say. We have a solution for you folks. I, I, it's such a huge coincidence. I know you're not going to believe this, but it just happens that over the last about three or four decades, we have been planning for just in case, just in case everything collapsed, we've been working out this new alternative plan that could kind of take its place. And it's just such a coincidence that it just happened to happen. I mean, you know, it's just like, you know, we're, we're, it's just a coincidence that we were doing these trainings uh, on, you know, September 11th about terrorists and planes. And then it just actually happened. It's just a coincidence that we were doing this training about, you know, explosions and stuff. And then the Boston thing happened. It's just a coincidence 
that we had just done this training about this this you know disease that's spreading around and stuff and that was going to cause the economy to collapse and this like 30 days later one really happened it's just a coincidence folks it's just a coincidence this stuff that i'm going to show you don't worry trust the government this is all just a coincidence we'll start off here this isn't in any real particular order either so and some of these you're probably going to be aware of um and this has all happened in the last 10 to 12 days. Uh, Raymond, Minnesota, tra train carrying ethanol derailed. Um, it exploded, uh, causing it to explode, prompting evacuations. Some of you may not have heard of that. That was in Raymond, Minnesota. Uh, let's see. Let me get my little mousey over here. Here's the next one. Uh, Louisville, Kentucky, responding to... Um, a submerged barge. This was just in the last couple of days. I mentioned this. Uh, carrying 1,400 tons. 1,400 tons, not pounds, tons of methanol as it was leaking into the Ohio River. Firefighters on the scene of a large oil well on fire. This was in Wayland, Michigan. Oil well caught fire a few days back. Uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It was a major chemical spill in the Delaware River. Uh, 12,000 gallons of latex, hazardous latex, was spilled into the Delaware River. Do you know about that one? Uh, here's one. Massive explosion reported at a factory producing chocolate in Redding, Pennsylvania. I don't know if you saw the video of this, but it was, it looked like something out of a Hollywood movie. It just so happened, I guess. I mean, I guess some things maybe can be a coincidence. I don't know. It just so happened that there was like a CCTV, you know, closed caption camera that was pointed at this building when it exploded and it it literally looked like it, it what here's what it looked like you know those movies from like the 70s and 80s that had real low budget real poor special effects you know and they would show a building explode but you could easily tell it was like a little tiny building on a train set you know you know what i'm talking about you know those cheesy tv shows and stuff from like the 70s and 80s and they would show this this house or this building go <laughs> But, you know, if you were older than like 12, you could figure out that it was probably something about this big. They stuck a firecracker in and blew it up. That's exactly what this this footage looks like. It looks like this building's just sitting there fine and it just goes boom and blows up, completely blows up. Uh, there were some people killed in this one. Norfolk Southern, again, has a train derailment in Air, uh, Massachusetts. Um, Ten cars were overturned. This one wasn't carrying anything really too bad other than just trash. It was a trash train. Uh, Amtrak derailed in uh, Port Costa, of California. Uh, had 55 people on board. Uh, didn't have any injuries reported from that one. Uh, this one was a week or so ago, real big one. Uh, massive explosion at a phenochemical plant in Pasadena, Texas. Again, this one was caught on video. You can see a still shot from the video. It was a huge explosion, massive explosion. Uh, tractor trailer filled with 42,000 pounds of frozen chicken catches on fire. This one, this one's a little a bit of a mystery. Frozen chicken isn't flammable. And while certainly a semi truck is flammable, um, it, it's diesels. It's actually kind of hard to get diesel to really burn. I mean, not it's too hard, but it's certainly not like gasoline. Gasoline, the fumes itself are explosive. So this is interesting. It could be that it started off with the brakes. Um, no injuries, but lots of burnt chicken. So 42,000 pounds of chicken was destroyed in Dallas, Texas. Here's another one. Multiple agencies responded to a runaway train carrying 180 cars. It was traveling at 80 miles an hour. And get this, no one was on it. No one was on it. The crew jumped off because it was a runaway train. Yep, that happened. Norfolk Southern. Oh, I think I mentioned this one already. Sorry, this is a repeat. Uh, the 10 trail, the 10 cars, sorry. Uh, multiple hazmat crews at the scene of a chemical cloud. People are were being told to shelter in place. This was in West Lake, Louisiana a few days back. Uh, it, they did a shelter in place for a one mile radius of this stuff. Um, the hazardous chemical came out of a bio lab. 
Yeah, bio lab. Mm -hmm. It's just a coincidence, folks. Just a coincidence. Germantown, Pennsylvania. This one's interesting, especially in light of what happened a couple of days ago. Massive fire breaks out at Philadelphia Catholic School. Was this just a coincidence? I don't know. I mean, was this an attack on religion by people that hate it? I don't know, because here was another one. This was in Burlington, New Jersey. Multiple firefighters are battling a massive church fire. Hmm. It's been under investigation. Who knows? Big old fire. You can see in the pictures there. That's a big one, folks. And that's all the list that I have, but things that make you go, hmm, what do you think? Do you think that this is all just a coincidence? Do you think that we're overreacting? Is it just because we have the internet and we can be instantly aware of these things that happen? I mean, that's certainly a possibility. I mean, because these things do happen. But I don't know, folks. This is happening quite often. And they're not little things. You know, they're not small little things that are happening. These are major things, major chemical spills, major structures that are being burned, major destruction of our infrastructure. How many structures can I say in one sentence? Um, so I, I kind of have a feeling that this is, this is bigger than just a coincidence, that we are watching a planned and orchestrated destruction and chaos. Again, not because these incidences that I mention are going to bring us down, okay? The Ohio train thing. I mean, people are still alive. I mean, they'll probably get cancer, potentially. Uh, but people are still alive. Business has kind of gone back to normal up there in Ohio, but it's just more and more of it. And, and again, the biggest thing, if you really dig deep into communist theory, it, it's, it's very much psychological. Yes, there are physical things that they did and would do to cause you know, destruction, but the biggest thing is psychological. It messes with your mind. And so they want to break society and break things down so that you will lose faith and that you will just kind of give up and that when the things that are going to happen that are really big, big, you're just kind of desensitized to it. You're demoralized. It's just kind of it's kind of over for you. You don't care anymore. And so I think that's a lot of what we're seeing, folks. We're seeing many pieces to this puzzle of collapse happening at the same time. Uh, so you need to start getting ready. One way that you can get ready and, and you know, you, you don't have to do this, okay? Uh, but it does does help keep us on the air uh, is is check out this product um, It's called perfect supplements. That's the brand name of it. Okay, uh, but they have multiple supplements These are high high quality organic non GMO um, It's a, a, a family owned company that that produces these they source their stuff from excellent quality sources uh, and they have a lot of different types of of products that you sometimes you're not going to find elsewhere you know multi organs this one i really like because it has it's all bovine and sheep so it's got liver heart kidneys pancreas spleen and a thymus these are things that our ancestors ate all the time and we our society doesn't and that's the the most nutritious part of the animal that's that's right here and if you can see that and if it'll focus that's the most nutritious part of the animal, and most people nowadays don't eat this. And so you can get it. It's, it's done in a way that it retains its freeze-dried and desiccated. Um, you can get just, you know, plain old desiccated liver. Um, they have a lot of things, a lot of things that you can get. You can go to the description uh, below, and there'll be a link to Perfect Supplements. Uh, and we take these, and we, it, it does make a difference. Uh, we can tell a difference. We can feel a difference. Uh, so you can check that out. Folks, it's time to get your houses in order, and getting healthy is one of those ways. That's one of the ways we prepare. We're preparing mentally, physically, and spiritually. Part of this physical pre preparedness is getting our physical bodies in the best shape that we can, as healthy as we can, because things are happening. A collapse is happening. We're watching the puzzle pieces line up. So get things in order and prepare that way, uh, because I don't know if there's anything at this point that's going to stop it. We may just be past the point of re no return. In fact, J.P. Morgan Chase yesterday 
uh, reported that as far as the economy goes, they believe it's past the point of no return. So get your houses in order, folks. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.